I thought I was long overdue adding a new fake away to my playlist. Following on from my popular Donny Kebab video, I thought I'd try and replicate a chicken curry made in a classic British Chinese takeaway. I've been tweaking this recipe for a while now and you know what, I think I've about nailed it. It's really easy, it's ready in under an hour and because you cooked it, you know what's gone into it. So you can almost guarantee it will be tastier and definitely it will be healthier. Also, if you've never cooked a scratch curry before, this is the perfect easy curry to get you started. So what are we waiting for? Let's check out the ingredients. Four chicken breasts or you can use thighs. Two teaspoons of corn flour or corn starch. Two small onions, diced. Two garlic cloves, crushed or grated. Two heaped teaspoons of curry powder. One teaspoon of ground turmeric. One teaspoon of ground ginger. And one teaspoon of soy sauce. 400 ml or three quarters of a pint of chicken stock or broth. Okay, let's prep our chicken breast. So we're going to go down them one third and again and then be careful not to cut these too small or they will dry out so nice bite-sized chunks can't use my knife properly because i've cut my finger and i'm mardy hurt and pop that into a bowl so my knife skills will be off today because of my poorly finger and it hurts like hell where's an ambulance You will have to excuse my Thermomix in the background cooking my rice, so seasoned well with some salt and some pepper. And we'll go in with two teaspoons of corn flour or corn starch. Give this a good old mix up. Oh, my finger, it's got salt on it. Make sure all those chicken breasts are well covered. This is gonna thick, help thicken our Chinese chicken curry sauce. Okay, set that aside and let's crack on. Fellow chicken curry lovers, let's get prepped. Here's one of the onions, no skills required, no master chef skills required. Peel, we're simply just gonna cut nice and thick. The same with the other half. It's all gonna be blended up anyway and just repeat the same with the other onion. Right, let's cook on with a large pan. About a tablespoon of olive oil. And we're gonna warm that on a medium to high heat. Correction folk, we need a medium heat on this pan. In with the onions. We're gonna cut these off for about six minutes till they start to soften. We don't want them to color or burn one after a fair ground hot dog here. Just a little tiny bit of salt and a nice helping of pepper and again we'll slowly cook stir regularly for about five to six minutes right these onions are starting to soften in with the garlic you've got to keep this moving or it will burn and there's nothing worse than burnt garlic running through a dish just going to cook this out for about another minute smelling good already in with the spices all prepped ahead and mixed Give this a right good stir because it's gonna mop up all of that oil. This is now the base of our Chinese chicken curry. Just a pinch of sugar, mix that in. Not forgetting our soy sauce, that's about a teaspoon. And mix well. Smells really good, really good. Now in with our chicken stock. We're gonna bring that up to a simmer. Just keep stirring as that comes up to heat. Now this is what I call a gentle simmer. We're going to keep stirring this now and again and simmer it for about 20 minutes. Okay, this is the consistency what we're looking at. I've taken it off the heat now and I've only simmered this for 15 minutes. You've got to catch it by eye and what we're doing when we're simmering this curry down is we're concentrating the flavour so the more the sauce reduces, the tastier the curry will be. So this is where we're at. 
And now we're going to stick it in the blender. And she pops, pop this lid back on. If you, you could use a stick blender if you've not got a, a, a blender like this. Um, but if you haven't got any blender at all, um, just don't blend it and it'll taste just as good. We eight, away we go. Okay, let's cook this chicken. I'll just give the pan up just a general wipe out in with some olive oil and the chicken that's been set aside with that um, seasoning and corn flour. I'm just going to get some colour on this chicken, probably about, about three minutes or so. I'm not going to cook it fully because we're going to finish the cooking in our sauce. So you've pretty much just got to cook it. The bits of chicken you see that are one they're done more than the others just make sure they see a bit of pan surface so once it's coloured on each side we're going to add the sauce back to the pan and we're almost there so our chicken is about let's just open one of these out it's still not cooked it's almost cooked that's about the stage where we want it out before we add our sauce back into the pan. In with that beautiful Chinese style. Just look at that. Awesome. Again, if you've got no blender, it'll be absolutely fine. And we're gonna simmer this for five minutes just to finish cooking this chicken. Again, don't overboil it because if you do, you'll be left with no sauce and you'll be ordering a Chinese takeaway. I didn't add these to the ingredient list because they're entirely optional. But what is a Chinese takeaway chicken curry without some peas? So let's get some in. Just looking at just a handful or a couple of handfuls. This again is entirely up to you, but this is looking proper nice. So we're going to simmer this for five minutes again, as I said just to finish off cooking that chicken and here is the end result and just look at this perfect color and consistency it looks like it's just been delivered but i can guarantee you it tastes a whole lot better here i've served mine with just some simple rice and all that's left to do is get stuck into it what is your favorite takeaway and would you like to see me attempt to cook it whatever it is drop me a comment below I do hope you enjoyed today's video and if you haven't already consider clicking that subscribe button. But for now take care, keep safe and I'll see you next time.